Hey everyone, for this week's book review, let's take a look at this, The New Creative Artist, A Guide to Developing Your Creative Spirit. This is one of the books that were sent to me recently from this company called FW Media. I believe they are the company that manages or distributes books from other publishers such as North Light Books and Impact. So these are some of the books that I have here. I will review them weekly. So let's start with this. The author for this book is Nita Leland. Now this book was originally published in 1990, that's 25 years ago. So this paperback format, this is the 25th anniversary edition. Now back then it was called The Creative Artist and in 2006 it was republished with new content added and the name changed to The New Creative Artist. So if you have the earlier book, which is called The New Creative Artist, now this book, this paperback format is exactly the same as the one that was published in 2006. I actually have the previous book, which was uh, Spiral Bound, but I sort of prefer the paperback version um, better. This book is also available in ebook format. This book is basically a book of ideas and inspiration written for anyone who wants to be more creative in their artistic endeavors. This is the second book that I have that's from Nita Leland. The first book was Confident Color, An Artist's Guide to Harmony, Contrast and Unity. That's a very good book as well. You can check out the book review in the video description below. And both the books, um, I refer to them quite often because there are so many nice ideas um, in, in them. Alright, so this book is on creativity. So here it says that creativity can be learned and I do believe this because when you go through all the exercises here you have a lot of ideas. I mean you will definitely be more creative because now you can think a bit more different and now you can um, paint or draw a bit more different. So that is the goal of this book, to let you have fun when you are creating art, to try out different things. So this book is filled with plenty of ideas on what you can draw. There are a lot of exercises, hands-on exercises that you can follow, that you can do to get into the creative thinking and drawing mode. And many of these, many of these exercises are actually very simple, so you don't have to know how to draw uh, in order to learn from this book. And there are many beautiful examples beside the text and the instructions. And all the activities, the tutorials, they are, they are quite brief, but they, do, they are actually very useful. So in addition to the many hands-on exercises suggested, there are also more thought-provoking discussions. Um, you may see them later on, like uh, fine art versus commercial art, art versus crafting. This book also covers some uh, basic fundamentals of art and design. So for this particular chapter, it's on um, some of your tools, some of the drawing methods, some of the basic techniques like contour drawing, gesture drawings. Some of the examples, um, the visual examples, they are a bit complicated, but um, you don't have to draw, you don't have to copy uh, to this extent. You just have to follow, follow along with the lessons. That would be uh, good enough. So this book is quite thick. It has 176 pages. So this chapter talks about designs, elements and principles of design. So these are the different elements. There are seven elements, line, value, size, movement, contrast, repetition, balance. So these are the, actually the concepts used for graphic design that you can use when you are drawing or painting as well. This chapter is on realism. And there are many um, suggestions on what you can paint. 
what you can do when you have an artist blog and this book is fantastic for those people who think uh, they don't have anything to draw or they have an artist blog many of these checklists um, are just little techniques that you can practice abstract art so there are different styles of art featured in this book abstract art realism quick sketches figure drawing painting dry media wet media i really enjoy this book pastel watercolor gouache acrylic I think this is a really good book to complement all those um, instructional, those structured instructional books that you may already have. This is a wonderful book. This is easily five out of five stars for me. I asked FW Media, the company, to send me the new edition because I wanted to see the differences between this and the one that was published in 2006. And the content is exactly the same, except this is in paperback format. The other one is in spiral bound. So um, the official price for this is 25 US dollars. I'm pretty sure you can get it at a cheaper price online. I'll put the links to where you can find this book on Amazon and book depository in the video description below. And if you buy through those affiliate links, I actually earn some money that I use to get uh, more art books to feature on my YouTube channel. So that's all for today's review. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.